705. Um, I handed everybody a copy, um, Charlene, of the information that you provided. Mm -hmm. So this is what the select board just received that. Yeah, I see that too as well. That would be a pain. Well, 
<coughs> I don't know what kind of signs it would be. It would yeah. be a permanent sign, I imagine. Mm -hmm. So we're here to uh, do a proposal on to get it approved somehow or, or put, put it approved by you guys at Select Force for Bakersfield did their approval. They didn't put it for town meeting. So whatever you guys decide what needs to be done, the next step, then we're on board with it. We'll help out. We have to somehow, but whatever will work. Now on that, that paper I believe you give us, I noticed this is up to 700 pounds. Oh, it was the one that was a, uh, the state, the state. Right. Um, These machines are well over 700 pounds, so I don't know how that would qualify. Oh, interesting. So, I don't know. I haven't, I wanted to contact Montpelier, but I'm, so, I'm straight out of game. I find me a phone call. I don't know what that, that's all about. If it follows under a different code or something. Oh, because you got a side by side, right? Right. Yeah. And most of the machines today are like 18, 1900 pounds. Some are, uh, I see a couple of 2200 pounds. I don't know how that would fall under, you know, ATV jurisdiction or whatnot. Mm -hmm. They must not have updated. Probably not updated. <laughs> I'm going to say right. probably so when that was coming out, out, they were all little 4x4s. Four four. They weren't the 850s and 900s and exactly. 1000s and 1500s or whatever. There might be a discrepancy on the person I talked to in Bakersfield to put on how to the sticker part. They told, she told me that the town, the people that live in Bakersfield don't have to buy them and pay the ten dollars. So I don't think just get a sticker, but somebody's gonna pay for that sticker. Right. And but then I talked to somebody that lives in Bakersfield and they thought that they had to buy a sticker. So that's a little up in the air on whether you have to. If you want I mean, numbers. I my personal feeling, I think everybody should have to buy a sticker. I mean, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Because it's extra, right. extra, you know, extra income. Extra well, income. Not, I'm not worried about the end of the $10 a month. I'm just, it's extra. If if we do approve it, it's just going to be more, more paperwork. Well, mm -hmm. no more maintenance of the road because ATVs will chew it up more than. Right. Who's going to enforce it though? It's the same as now. Yeah. Who's going to enforce it? The police aren't enforcing it now. Who's going to enforce that then? How does that change anything? Really? How does it change anything? That's my question. More administrative work for you. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, unless it would change something, what, what's the point? I'm sorry. Because we, <laughs> because we got we got stopped by the game warden. And if we get stopped again, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get a ticket. Right. Because we got warned. So, but Bakersfield said they have a sheriff that come up, comes up every six months, or not six months, because you know, every, whenever they think they need them, they have a sheriff sit and, and try to enforce it where the problems are. Yeah. I've been in this office 15 years. Game warden came in once to see, look at the posting permits. So, you know, I'm just saying. I think either you just allow it as a town ordinance, or you don't allow it. Yeah, but this is, you know, this is goes back to the same problem you have now with forcing. Yeah. Even the interesting stickers, you know how many, uh, how many stickers they actually sell per year. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you register everybody, you know who's on your road. But uh, who's going to enforce the registration? Yeah. That's why I just wondered up there how many stickers they actually sold per year. I can ask them. We can yeah, find out. Interesting to find out. For how long have they been doing this? Or how long have they been open? It's been a few years. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I'm thinking, I, I don't know the dates, but. I don't know. I can guess four or five years, but I can. No, I think it's somewhere in the range, because I think they do hire deputy sheriffs and they come out on the four wars. Just not sit out in the I mean, to get two sheriffs to come up for a day is going to negate any. Any money. Any money. <laughs> any money, any money it's just how much you want to try to regulate them. Yeah. Because with the rail trail being open too, I think there's problems going on there now. Yeah. So. But that that is restricted from ATVs. You can't have ATVs on. on well. Yeah. Then again. No, they buy the house all the time. They're, 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 they go by my house all the time too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's they go down the rail trail more at night, but they go down during the day. I mean. 
more at night because during the day the bikes and stuff are on there. But who went by tonight before I come home? I, don't I come here. suspect that trail. might be one of the reasons why the uh, fishing game folks are out there, and they are out there more often. We've had at least four phone calls about it over the last two months that I've received. Yeah, you're not supposed to be on there. No. But even with this, you know, be yeah. Like, I mean, can't, you can't enforce everything. I mean, no. Like driving Natty down this road. I mean, you're okay till you get caught, right? Or you die. Yeah, that too. Or you kill something. Can you have a uh, just a regular resident take charge of it? We'll stick with it some application so it doesn't put so much. No, my whole point is the enforcement. I mean, it, it's that's if you're going to start. It, how does it change? That's that's. I said thing. This high gate alone on the town roads. You know, so many other roads. I don't know if they're. I was thinking high gate was a town that actually opened the roads up. And I don't. <clears throat> I don't know anything about stickers and you know, being registered in the town. It's another one that gets get information. I'm pretty sure it's high gate okay. that allows it <clears> on <throat> town roads. No name of states on. Like a rich road, you can drive anywhere right down Main Street. Yeah. I don't know how not, illegal that no, part is. No, it's a state road. Yeah, it's a state it's road, and you can't get permission for it. But down Newport, they drive right down Main Street. Well, in the kingdom, it's a it's a mode of transportation up there. <laughs> There's a little bit of an enforcement issue in most of the yeah. towns. Um, the state of Vermont is no, the they get primary contract that for, our morning for all of us. Uh, we could get. They don't have an ordinance or anything. Fletcher. Like we're not. We can't legally ride in Fletcher. No, I I have been over there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, but isn't that where you said that? It was between. Right up here on the hill. It was right before Fletcher. I don't know if it was officially Fletcher or if it was still there. So, the stones on at the right well, split comes to Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Right there, gave one was up there. Yeah. That's me. Oh, that's her answer. Well, I appreciate what you put into this, but I don't know how do you... You don't have, like, any police no. ever come here? It's the ones well, that live in town. Live here. Yes, the, the state of Vermont yeah. provides the policing services for right. the town of Fairfield. We don't have an individual contract with any right. of the, um, like the, the shares other, department. like St. Albans or anything like that. So I can rob anybody and get away with it, what you're saying? No, if you call 911, <laughs> the state, the state police. A lot of people have guns. Yeah, we do the, state police, oh, yeah. the police come. The state police come. Yeah. They may come. Yeah, we hope they come. <laughs> yeah, they may come. They may come? Depends on if there's one in the area to come. Yeah. I've talked to a couple of people Eventually. about stuff being stolen and they didn't get any. Oh, so yeah, they there is, a, there is an issue report. with file um, report. There is an issue with the Franklin County um, managers are talking about the fact that there there's less and less opportunity for policing other than the, the state yeah. at this point. Yeah. See, on my road alone, I know everybody's pretty well armed. Yeah. The police the police department is looking for um, mm -hmm. cadets all the time. All of the police departments they're, they're very very right. low training. Training is not going well. So. Yeah. They don't have any constables. That's a that's not a thing anymore, really. No. They constables, the town constables don't have any. Don't have much legal. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Anything. Unless you go, unless it's an actual go to the police academy, get trained. It's right. Can't just the title. They can serve evictions, can't they? About that. I think the sheriff is the one who's the sheriff does that. You the, the constable is if you can get him to do it. It's you know it's one of those things we sh should go by the way of a lot of the thing, the grand juror and the other stuff. It's sort of like your animal control. I, I applaud you guys for following up on it. A lot of people come in and complain and never see or hear from them again. I would encourage you to keep keep looking, see what everybody else is doing. Personally, not as the board. I'm not a big fan of it, um, and I, if we're going to consider it, you know, what do we do? Get petitions and you know, bring it up at town meeting, make that an item, get people to vote on. I, I don't know which, what's the best route, but my personal feelings. 
I don't agree with the stickers and all that uh, applications. I think if you're gonna open it, open up ATVs and you know, hope for the best. But I don't know if you could do a temporary ordinance until the town meeting to kind of see how it goes. But no, no, it's too cold to write. <laughs> it's going to be 70 at the end of the week. Yeah, I know. So have an get orange, a cab around that. So have an orange without yeah. stickers. I, know, I, know, I, was, I got pretty much yeah, I don't I don't I don't know, know, stickers. Mine's mostly for work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we ride around looking at deer. That's all we do. So, yeah. Well, that'll work if we can get just an ordinance. We don't care about the stickers either as long as. We're all registered with As long as we're old. Yeah. As long as we're okay. I think you have to be registered in the Yeah. That's, that's a total oh, yeah, you have, you have to be yeah. registered regardless. Regardless. Yeah. You, you're supposed to be, yeah. I should say. Yeah, we got a pass on all that. And we got the state registration, so that, that's a sticker right. enough right there. Right. Right. Yeah. So the select board can do one of three things, I think. One is um, vote to adopt an ordinance, create, have me create one and adopt it. There's another option where you can um, there can be a question on the um, ballot at town meeting. In order to get a question on the ballot, either the select board will put it there, or one or, or you can have um, signatures and do that, or a combination of the two. So those are those are the th three things. Either it comes from the board, it comes from the board and you, or it comes from. Um, a select board motion to adopt an ordinance. So those are the. Did we have it on the meeting town morning, like ten years ago? Quite a while ago. Yeah. Was it that? It wasn't ten, but it was. It was no, there was a group that a club that wanted that to, club uh, wanted to do it. They got. I think that's how it got in Richmond. <coughs> I believe that club was instrumental in getting it passed in Richmond. And it was in Bakersfield. It was voted down here. But, you know, it was 10, five, ten years ago. I don't remember what it was. I guess a lot yeah, depends on what you use. Yeah. At, least, at least that long ago. Yeah. I can but I mean, they, I don't have a problem putting it on town meeting now. No. I don't know how you guys feel about that. No, so I don't either. That way there, <clears throat> it's up or down. Just need to make sure we get it, something written up correctly. Yeah. And that's something the board can ask, have put on the ballot. You don't have to get a whole petition. I don't know how strongly you feel about it. No, I, I think that's the way to go, yeah. I personally figured that was the way. Then if we get enough feedback one way or the other, that's how we're going to go with it. And then Jim, Jim can write it out for you. Yeah, get something that meets legal requirements. That's how I feel. I don't know how you feel about it, though. Yep, I mean, we try. I mean, I just, like Ron said, something about temporary, but I guess, you know, it's not very hard to tell me, so. Charlie said it's cold, so he's <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pull my plow on pretty soon anyway. Because, because you're getting, oh, yes, I do. Because you're getting, the, you're getting the rioters, you're getting the complainers, so if you have an ordinance, you're gonna get the rioters and less complainers? Because no. you have an ordinance? You're gonna have somebody who's gonna complain about it. Somebody's gonna ruin it. Somebody. Well, the last time, you, I just remember the last time one of the people that were posted it was on the corner coming in these fairfield there, and I laughed. I said, don't you know complain to me about the two kids that live up the road? Those do, I've seen them go around there in two wheels. This is years ago. I said, I've seen that club go through, and they go through about 15, 20 miles an hour. They're single file. Yeah. So I said, I don't know. Just because they're local doesn't mean they're less Hellions than right. the ones that are actually doing it in a respectable manner. Yeah, you know, exactly. So, uh, there's always going to be a couple of people who ruin it. Oh, yeah. Like anywhere. One thing I think you need to do is uh, have an age limit. You know, oh, yeah. Or you need a driver's license. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Right. I think it says it right in it anyway. I think you have to have a license. It scares me around sometimes. But if you're, you're, on, you're on the road, road you're okay. It's probably like 100 miles an hour on the road. Well, I saw one on uh, Egypt Road about a month ago. He was trying to pull a wheelie. Yeah. Yeah. He one. wasn't successful. That's a little kid on a oh, four wheeler. Comes yeah. by our house with a, a guy with a little kid with a motorcycle, too. Yeah. Well, you're like 12, 13 years old, yeah. and they're not going solo. Yeah. I said, it's not a time to hear about driver's license. I mean, it says non pilot you know, they're not made for the road. I'm just, I'm... Mm. Having a license they, doesn't keep you from yeah. being stupid. And I they, can't tell you how many times I've been driving down the interstate and had a motorcycle come up and pop a wheelie beside my car because they think it's cool. Well, not to mention, 
No, to mention they're doing 80 miles an hour. And, and they're weaving. You, yeah, see yeah, what, yeah. you see what happens when a four wheeler runs into a pickup truck. They don't fall down the road. No, no. I mean, we're down to visit my son in Connecticut. Well, those guys are going to be four lanes of traffic they go right between the cars and oh yeah 80 yeah. miles and somebody opened their door <coughs> somebody switched lanes because they nobody uses the direct no, lights in there no, no i see it all the time and that's the stuff that ruins it for everybody yeah i'm responsible yeah. i think i'm a responsible writer and, and those are the, the things that make, make it but i you know by the barn was, they're not so bad as they were but two or three years ago you'd see them go up through on two wheels going around the corner hop, over on the other lane where a car was coming down and they'd be yeah, they're going around to them. Right, the kids, the ones that he's talking about, went to pass, you know, from Howard's farm. And he saw me coming, and he backed off, and I went like that, and gave him a dirty look, and he didn't stop. I was like, I meant to, I should have went like this, like, but I said, stop, like, put that. He looked at me like, because <laughs> he was, he was going to pass, and he, I was right there. So. Jim Barlow can write up an ordinance, but there's a few decisions that the select board is going to want to make in, in order to have a general sense of, it's the conversation has been age of writers. Um, in so so we don't need a, anything we're not Right, so those things. are the things that... We need to gauge, we need to do some more work on our end right. to confirm that we're, we're okay with it. Right. I'd like to ask, I mean, depends on how you guys want to do it, but... I kind of like the idea, and I don't need to put more, more work on you guys, but like I said, I applaud you for doing it. Let's get a petition to put it on the town meeting. Yeah, I'm going to ask. Because you, you guys can't do this yourselves, and we can't take it on ourselves. No. You, I think you the petition part people. gives some numbers, especially like surround town. I mean, yeah. that's more on board as people in town be making use of it, whether they want it or they yep. don't. But right, go out with a petition, get people involved, have a conversation. Yeah, and then say you're going to have to show up at town meeting too. Yep, get, get people involved. Yes. And it has to be a, a specific, it has to have specific language um, in order to do the position, in order to have it on the, the thing. So you and I should talk about what that language might look like. Okay. Because like put it at stones and get like 30. Yeah, they I have to be legal voters of the town, though. Oh, so that's the other thing. Oh, okay. It has to be a legal but, voter. But it's, it's not the other it's not a ton of work. You're going to drum up enough Seven, you conversation. You only need 75 signatures. Yeah. But how many we need? 75? 75 to get the article in the, in the town, on the, on the edge. Voters. Of legal voters. People that are registered to vote, which people don't understand what that means. And they have to live in Fairfield, too, because we get petitions for the other, for other things. And like, there's people from Bakersfield, people from Fletcher, people, you know, it's legal voters of the town of Fairfield, so get more signatures <coughs> than you need. They can be Fairfield and East Fairfield. Yes, they it's are. All one town. It's all one town. Yeah, I just want to make but sure. But they can have a, a fair, the East Fairfield address and live in Fletcher, then mm -hmm. they're not a legal voter in Fairfield. Registered to vote so, in Fairfield. Because your yes. mail must come out of Venusburg too, doesn't it? What's that? Does your mail come out of Venusburg? You come out of East Fairfield? Yeah, we see, Common Mines comes out of Venusburg. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. Frank right. Rooney's, you know, Frank Rooney's farm is that does it there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up to the end of that corner, then they turn over your way to start and get up further. <laughs> Mitchell Road. Really? Yeah. I can get pretty confused. <laughs> yeah, I think Damien Boomhauer's is Enosburg Mail, too. It's just bizarre the way things are. Huh. <laughs> All right, so you still want me to find out about the, why well, we're not doing stickers? But we, we don't know where we're at yet. We're, let's let's take the temperature of everybody. Let's have a discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to. I mean, we're long ways from writing an ordinance, figuring mm -hmm. out if we're going to do it like Bakersfield or Highgate or where we're going to do it. But so. did you want me to find out how much they sell? Still? Yeah, I would be interested to see how many stickers they actually sell per year. And then what Highgate does? Yeah, and you know, the tick, the number of stickers people like even people tell it don't pay for them but get them. It'd be interesting how people many people actually participate getting those stickers and you know, the percentage of them. They, you know, it may not be, they may tell you, they may not, I don't know. But, well, Bakersfield, you, you said they didn't even get a sticker, so. No, they get a sticker. I, I was confused on that. What, because a resident told me that everybody has to pay for like a 
but they told me that the residents don't right. pay the ten dollars on so up by now. All right. Okay. Well, so thank you for staying active and appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure the Walmart will look for deer. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I saw. Seen any yet. <coughs> I saw three on the way home tonight. So. Yeah, they're they've been out there quite a bit. They're they're yeah. out there. Yeah, they're out at 4 30 in the morning everywhere. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good ducks. At least around this afternoon. Yeah, okay. they were this afternoon and yeah. They're gonna get one of, them, one of them was a good size. Yeah, well, yeah. well, 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 well thank you for coming. You want me to call well, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just give you we'll, we'll talk about the backyard. It's it it's just funny. whatever you put at the top of the page is what is gonna go on the So it you just wanna make sure you have it's written right. You do your you, you do your best to say what you think you should say, and then we'll work towards Smith if we have to. Okay. Thank you very much. Give milk. Right on the lawn. Fifty feet. Hundred fifty-five. There was some deer two on the side. This afternoon, a little button buck and his mother eating the grapes that are right in my backyard. She had two forty-yard. Close enough. We were yeah, standing yeah, inside yeah. the house of my grandson. Yeah, was... great, a great line. Paul was probably right there. Yeah. On shoulder, but... yeah. Like, I didn't know maybe you had a mole when you were feeding them. So no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a trellis. Time to put out salt and molasses and corn. Hey, it's a trellis, and they were just munching on it. So we have two bids for the audit um, for the next the three year audit contract. I talked to Amanda and uh, she'd like to look at them and then come back. We can come back to you okay. to decide which is which is the preferred we would suggest uh, we go with. So these are sealed bids. We just need to open them up. And These all ones are the easiest to open. Let me know if you want to grab a knife or something. So, Wacker, are you ready to go? There he goes. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't touch yourself. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't cut. You're nice. <laughs> I, told you, yeah. I told you the knife was not sure. Those, I told you those envelopes aren't the easiest to open. What's that for? You're picking your ears? It's your business. It's a screwdriver. Yeah. All the things. So, if she would get. The treasurer mm -hmm. is just to review them with us and before she would not announce the ones we got tonight. Um, we should say who, who did and we how much, but sealed. we don't necessarily, we don't have to make a decision, we just leave it at that. Yeah, you try it. You're not. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. let you get injured. You done well. We didn't know it was a risky business. They're hermetically sealed, I guess. There's fibers. That was a man who, who chops up the fish. That was a fish move. Yes. Not much of love, though. So they're from who? Batchelder Associates and a Yeah, this is Batchelder Associates. Or the other. Uh, Turn over the envelope. <laughs> Very Vermont. I don't see a summary. No summary for that job. Three-year proposal. Twenty twenty-three is eighteen thousand. 
2024 is 18,900 and 2025 is 19,845. I'm sorry, 18, 18 and 19? 2023 is 18,000. Uh -huh. 2024 is 18,900. Uh -huh. 2025 is 19,845. Thank you. Did they have anything about single audits? In there? 7,500 for, mm -hmm. for a regular Three audit. years. Each year for three years. And then if it's a single, one year, 65. First year. First year, then yeah, seven. Then seven so and five and third. Their fee for a regular audit service was 14,500 for this year. And previously, Eleven thousand nine hundred for the previous audit. So I'm just curious about how that that's written on their bid. I'm not sure that they've gone down for sure. Yeah. <coughs> well, that's why I think it's a good idea that you and Amanda take a few minutes and look at it. Yeah. And come back to us with a. Well, as a man, it, it doubled. It's doubled. It's doubled. Okay. It went from 13 to 25. Okay. You right. said 7,500. No, 78,000 for three years. Oh. Okay, that's what I heard. The, that's what I heard I'm the sorry. first time, and then I. So 25,000 okay. for. 25,000 a year. 25,000 for one year, the first year. 26 for the second year, and 27,000 for the third year. So it was fourteen five hundred for the regular audit and five thousand for the single audit, and then sixty five hundred. They also um, charge us extra, us another uh, service charge for. Okay. It's a fee based for the um, journal entries. The so sixty five for the people. first year for a single, Got and it. Then, then seven for the second year, and seventy five for the third year. It'll be good to look at it because I, I'm wondering if they've included, instead of having a separate... Yeah, and they still have a bunch they, of discussion that we don't know yeah, what's... They, they may have put a ducks in a row. Yeah. Just put some in the way Okay. Well, <coughs> yeah, we'll find out. That one group we know, one we don't. Um, the one, Bachelor does do quite a few in the state of Vermont. So I did do some research on that before. Um, when I sent that list, I sent it to all of the prominent companies in Vermont that posted it um, in the PID Resource Center. Uh, can I have, there it is. Was it just the one no, document? No, I think it was, yeah. Okay, right, thank you.
cut it back. Or cut it back, do something about it. You can't get to, into the flag because the bush is around, but there's the light. People complain the lights don't show on the flags. Morris has brought that up to me. And you're doing something about gutters because the gutter out here is full of weeds and stuff growing, so is that part of the gutter project? As a man, we need to address it. Town boys could do that. Um, it was actually pointed out to me by maybe somebody who thought it should be done by a... <laughs> not them. You and I need to spend five minutes and just say we need 60 feet of gutter cleaning and effects. And okay. just, I just hired somebody to do it. For the okay. job, you know, I'll take care of that. Yep. For so the Oh, yeah. Used to. Yeah. Yeah. And and David? <coughs> okay, so did you get the email about John Bernard? Yes. Okay, so Absolutely. basically, Morris couldn't cut the what she says she owns. Like I said, the, the, bush, the bushes, the boys can't trim those up to car more. Do you want them to? No reason you can. Um, this is yep. a letter for response to her letter to her request to the select board regarding the acreage. Does that, that take them back home and dig them out? Well, that's just it. You know, if they're in the way, but um, they thought you had groundskeepers, so whatever your wish is. Or something like that. I think that time in the back will just yank it out, put some fill around it, level it out. But the badge is that Does it need to be ripped out or just need to be trimmed? I think at this point, it's just going to be a problem keep happening that it's overgrown. Yeah. It needs to be ripped yeah, out. Yeah, I agree. Take it out. Yeah. Build a little more. Perfect. Move on. Um, Melanie, along with being the zoning administrator, was E911. You need a new E911 coordinator. So, the town select board appoints that. None of us want the job, but we look into temporarily filling the position together. Oh, and position. maybe Kristen also. Okay. And uh, to see in the interim. So we need to make a motion to appoint temporarily three of the individuals. Uh, I think we should appoint Kristen. Appoint Kristen. And we'll help. And we'll help, okay. Yeah. Kristen, for the main, you're the technical assistance. Well, we all got to figure it out. Yeah. I, I make that motion just so we get this done with. Yeah. A second. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, and so that'd be part of the, when you do get a new zoning administrator, it'd be knowing, known that that's part of the job. Unless she has it, unless Kristen likes it. Yeah. yeah. So. Has there been any? Uh, yes. Any yeah, response to the did you no, sign no. that sign no. might be the right there? No. Nobody. Nobody. And you did oh, talk to Is it a deadline? <laughs> no. It's it's deadline. Deadline. I talked to Fletcher because I heard they had need for someone yeah. and some new guy moved to town and took yeah. it on. The thing is, so they don't need it anymore. And he has a full time job, so he is not interested. He happened to be in the office when I called. And Bakersfield is looking for you want to. I think. It was in a baker. Okay, so that's, huh. that's what I'm, yeah. yeah. Just, well, I guess I'll call we Bakersfield. Yeah, inquire, see if we could go somebody. It seems like it'd be more attractive if somebody had two close by like that. Yeah. And you also could have footage on there? Uh, yeah. And then she said this uh, over here. Yeah. Right down she said Bakersfield. Bakersfield. I don't know what remember. Um, I called yeah. regional planning because uh, they are doing so, what Sheldon do? and somebody else, I can't remember who. Yeah, um, and she got this over here too. And so I called to see if they would do us too. Uh, but they said they needed to go up the line. They didn't have anyone now. But they're looking into it. Thank you. They could get them to lined up or something. They don't have a person to do it, so they'd have to hire somebody, yeah. from what I understood from the first discussion I had with them. So, Highgate, maybe it's Highgate and Sheldon? Yeah, Highgate and Sheldon. But so far, that is a dead end, also. Melanie's still helping. Yeah. But most of it is 
uh, mean A, I don't know what I'm doing, and B, I don't really have time. So it's a challenge. That's a letter from the land trust regarding Damien and Stephanie putting in Robert Mary's farm into the land trust. So that came free of the slide here, all itself. So did you write a letter saying we're in support, or do you want me to? I don't know that, do you need to write a letter? They have they, the they asked already got their, uh, uh, they've already got their approval. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They usually ask, they usually email and ask. I, I think they did or, earlier. Yeah, notification. I think we did that earlier. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so. I that was quite a while back. It was a while ago. <coughs> yeah. Might have been long enough that I don't remember. Yeah, or well, now long. they've got a grant that they approved it, so okay. they're going to do it. Or, yeah. yeah, but that just came in, so that's just a follow up. Thanks. Yeah. Is that what they got out there? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when that one Chester Arthur at that time. They want to pay less than up in Berkshire, farm up Berkshire. It's over there nuts. And that's one. And what about the other the one? They was going to fall apart, so they had to shut that be in here. That's double. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Was there a discussion yeah. about that, or it was just cash? Uh, it's just um, John Bernard's letter. 176 acres. Mm -hmm. So between you guys and Melanie part time, we're at least covered for right now. Uh, Temporary. Uh, Melanie's really um, available by text message when she's not packing until after the 6th of November when they get to the Twin Cities. So between now and then, I'm sort of SOL. So I just changed that. Have we, have we heard I, anything from anybody in the interest? I changed the message on the phone to say, it's me and I don't have time for this job, and so be patient. Mm -hmm. And then I got a message today that said, I need this done right now. Oh. It's, thank you for listening to my message. That was very kind. Still posted on ELCT. We've run it in the newspaper four times. Um, we have it posted around. No, what Just, I want to do is yeah, we should have pointed that out. Stop him by the top. That one. Just basically the. Just change. I could get looked at. Like is there any professional services that does that? You know. Well, as close as we can get is Northwest Regional Planning, but at this point in time, they don't, sounds like they don't have a person to do that professional service, and they would have to hire somebody, so I'll right. I'm just wondering if they want to get enough together so they can justify it. Good. Yeah. I didn't hate courage. Um, when did it follow up? No. no. Where, where do we Send come letter. up with this person? I mean, oh. Response from SB. I'm just trying to think, is there another platform to look at? Yeah, it's kind of I mean, what we haven't done is pay pretty penny for seven <coughs> days ads. Those are pretty expensive. Other, I mean, seven, everybody looks at seven days when, we, when they're doing this. And then um, the messenger also has a, um, I think it's like $400. But this is like 10 hours a week, right? $400 will get it out onto all of the major net, um, uh, network platform, platforms so that we don't have to. They'll just get it out there. The messenger, unfortunately, I mean, these two guys read it, and that's about it. Yeah, like the, the, the Indeed plat platform and Vermont Jobs and all of that online stuff, you can pay the messenger and they'll get it out and to all of them. That's part of that $400. It's like a $400. I think, it, I think it, they said $400 to cost. It costs. Unfortunately, that's that's where we need to be. I mean, the messenger isn't where yeah, you're. People yeah. Google. Indeed, zip recruiter. Yeah. Well, then let's just start with the four hundred dollars. Did you do advertising buyers digest or not? Or is the that courier? I don't. Courier the courier is gone. Courier is gone. Yeah. No, they have to do it online. Yeah, but so it's, it's not it's not the right. Let's look in. Yeah. We have an account on Indeed. Where where where'd you find it? Where else? Oh, I don't remember. No, I'm pretty no, sure. No, that let, let me dig that up and yeah. pass it on to you and see if it's if you can just go on there. Yeah. No, it's the way you gotta do it. That's the way you gotta do it. You know, some of those you're gonna get somebody who wants a full time. Okay, job. so I can I can talk to them on tomorrow and get that get that going at the um, what kind of qualifications are you looking for? 
breathing. Why do you want it? Um, you have to have a, an understanding of state statutes around land. There's there's a there's a single, and you have to be able to understand our um, bylaws. our bylaws. So there there is a cognition <laughs> piece of this, and um, education helps with that. Um, but real awareness of what it means to work in a municipality is, is key too. So if somebody has a, a lot of experience working working in municipalities, then they understand what it what it means to look. For, you know, you have to be in a. <coughs> Sounds like you need a local person for one thing. You don't need one, but it's helpful. I think. Yeah, yeah. more helpful. Yeah. So how do we get out locally? Well, it's on the Facebook page. It's, it's, on, it's Facebook. On, you put it on Front Porch, front porch forum. forum. It's been and French Porch Forum. Everybody's. On, I mean, it feels like a lot of people are on French Porch. No. I, I stay away from that. Really? You talk? I'm not any computer, so <laughs> he's on the Front Porch some nights. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you do like a, a mail? It's been in the minutes, it? right? I mean, yeah, I don't know how many people read the minutes, so I mean. Hopefully we won't get to a point of, yeah, there's minutes, but those, we could post the right. I mean, it's a good time of year for it to happen, because there's not a lot of building going right, on right, right now. Right. You want a postcard go out? Oh my god, that comes so much. I mean, it's... Take, go, do the, I don't know, go through the messenger, much or like go straight to Indeed or ZipRecruiter, but you gotta, get it out there. We're, we're looking for somebody that's gonna be in that realm. Yeah. No, it's too bad. Two, three towns couldn't get together. So I'll call Bakersfield and ask them. Yeah, I mean, the more hours somebody might consider it. Or if somebody's talking to the regional planning and saying, hey, if somebody else has got this issue. Well, I already told like, regional planning. No, I know, but yeah. remind them because yesterday they hadn't talked to them and today they've talked to two people or whatever, you know. Just yeah, that's right true. Great time and place. That's true. Okay, I'll get it online and make sure that happens. Um, you have anything? In case you have to. <coughs> that more than anything is the zoning thing. Because you know, add it to my list of nobody else wants this job, <laughs> so you do it. Well, you have to fill in for Mo. He's not here. I asked Mo if he would split the E911 with me today before Linda volunteered to Kristen, and he said no, he's too busy. I said, all I want you to do is do the measuring, I'll do all the computer part. He said, no, he's too busy. Is Linda down there? Must be, she picked her favorites up. She threw food out of some left. Those are amazing, I have one already. What? I was my supper, <laughs> I haven't gone home yet. <laughs> it has fruit, so it's, it has to be healthy. Okay. So um, I guess that's me, right? Yep. Um, so the old town clerk building contract is signed. We paid him a 50% deposit. We're all set with that. It, he will give us uh, at least 24 hours notice before he starts, and he knows he needs to get it done before the snow flies. Um, we, I contacted Hub and Passive to get the ball rolling with insurance quotes again. So that's in the works. What was that you said before him? Yeah. Oh, um, Gilmet Handyman Services he is the on the, 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 the chosen bidder for, you weren't here at the last meeting. Excavating? For the excavating around the town clerk's, old Very town clerk's office. They're just doing that or are you doing everything? Or just yeah. that's a bit. He's doing just the good drainage, drainage, drainage tile, and pitching and all that. And getting, yeah. and getting the, um, mm. There's a ramp that needs to be removed. He's taking that down, and he's they're gonna he's gonna be taking down the, the utility pole and getting rid of, getting rid of that as well. Um, any, any word at all from those people? Or? Just no. The, the, actually, we did uh, the bidders. We had five, four, five bidders altogether. No, no. Uh, the rental. Yeah. The what? The rental. People are going to rent. Oh, the rental. Okay. No, yeah, I'm going there exactly. Not since, not since yeah. where we were. Nope. There's a meeting this week, though, right? There is a meeting for about the budget this week at the end of this week. Um, so, let's see. We've received enough tax revenue at this point to pay off our tax anticipation loans uh, with a motion from the select board. Um, 
on my list of notes. I make a motion to pay off the tax anticipation loan based on it. Yeah. And any outstanding interest. Yes. Yeah, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have information about the ARPA fund and the Lister reappraisal fund and also tax anticipation loan versus line of credit. Um, do you want me to just go right through those? Okay. So, I'm just going to put this in the here. Start with the funds. ARPA and Lister funds um, information coming to you. Okay, separate items. Uh, I'm just calling the funds, <laughs> funds discussion. Okay. They are they're separate, separate funds. They're separate funds, okay. yes. There's an ARPA fund and there's a Lister reappraisal fund. <clears throat> so this is information for the ARPA fund as well. So at one of our meetings, um, <coughs> at our last meeting, I think actually Brian said he wanted to talk about the ARPA fund. So where we are with the ARPA fund is that we have not spent or dedicated $66,000, 60, about $67,000 of that money at this point. Um, and how that worked out with the North Road culvert is that uh, the total reimbursement for V Trans is going to be $175,000, and the ARPA funds used to cover the rest of that work that wasn't um, calculated as uh, work from our town guys and, and equipment was $283,203.80. So that is this year. Um, that's the only expense that we've. we've uh, applied toward this to toward ARPA this year and then last year you remember we had 200 last year we had 198,104 dollars that went to various uh, things so that gives us that 66,000 dollar uh, 67,000 dollar balance so let me ask real quick that 283 yes second line that's what we used to cover North Road? That's what we used to cover North Road. So if you look at the ARPA fund, this package <coughs> here at the top here, <clears throat> the second page. Um, so the first page, you're looking at the balance sheet for the, for the ARPA fund. Okay. 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 Um, but when we're talking about the actual account, um, we're looking at um, how much did we do, how much did we uh, transfer between the funds in order to cover. Remember, we don't have a, a bank account for this money. It's a fund account, which means that it's, uh, we do all of the accounting in, in NEMRIC, but we don't have a separate bank account for this money. The other thing that is in there, so you'll see that we have $102,000 in there. The reason that it goes down to $66,000 or $67,000 is because last year the select board wanted to, um, you had said that you wanted to have two lines equal, um, let's see. We just want to balance the budget out. Yeah, you were balancing two lines so that, you know, and altogether, we would need to um, put a thirty-five thousand seven hundred and forty um, toward that budget line if we wanted to balance the budget. We don't have to, in, in, ter in terms of the general operating budget, we don't have to do that if, if we have a if we have a surplus this year. So we wouldn't want to do that until we know what the surplus is going to look like. So we do have more possibly available than the sixty-seven thousand if we if we don't have to put that toward um, making everything work out for this year. So there's still one hundred thirty-six five. No. Um, so the balance sheet is the top. Uh, is on this. Wait, where are you looking? 
Just on this. He's looking on the yellow. On the yellow, yellow. where the balance it says that it's November, first week of November. Yeah. So the as of right now, the current balance is one hundred and two thousand six hundred and thirty-one dollars. This is current Lister reappraisal balance. Oh, so we're talking about firstly the ARPA fund. So the Lister reappraisal, we'll talk about in just. Right. A second. So there's two things on that single yeah, page document. Yeah. Draw a line in the middle. Yeah. Right. The top is the ARPA fund, and we'll talk about the the Lister reappraisal fund right after. So leave sixty-six eight ninety-one. In our funds, yeah, right. That hasn't been dedicated. And we have two years on that. It has to be yes, completely spent by 2025. <coughs> I think March of 2025. Okay. So we have next year. We, we're going out of beyond. Yeah, we'll make it that far. Yeah. You have any questions about our at this point? No, it's a good thing to keep in the back pocket, though. Yeah. yeah. But some of the North Road funds should come back after that's. Reimbursed, right? Yeah, how do we deal with that? Because we're going to get so we're, we're balancing out the, the fund here. So all of the charges to that project um, went toward this fund. Um, so if you look at the second page, the ARPA fund here. That's this. Oh, actually, I don't have that's not the one. Um, it, so, in order to balance the fund that was used for, I have it on my desk if, if you want me to run for it, but in order to balance the fund that we we had to, we spent $280,000, $3,000 on that project, no matter what, however you look at it. Yeah, and $175,000 as well, but that is from the grant which they're going to reimburse us for it so the total project the total project that money is just it's like an in and out it wasn't a part of our general operating budget it was in it was in a separate fund um and that's actually, okay that's the loan we took to cover jeff's uh loan. that was the loan that we took yeah let me i'm, I'm gonna just just the question, question being when that 175 comes in where, where does it that where does it get appropriate so last meeting, what you wanted me to do was when we end up, when we end up having some money, um, no, that was FEMA. So it's, it's really just going right back into our, our operating account. It's like our, it's our surplus from last, you know, we have this huge surplus from years past that gets us through to the next um, tax anticipation loan. Um, so it's just, re, it's just repopulating the money that it was like a, you know, a drawdown from our from our cash reserve. Okay. Well, it's I just putting that part of it would go back into the ARPA fund just to. Well, I, no, I wouldn't say that. Part. Yeah, no, you want to keep those separate, separate. for separate. sure. Once we're closed out of the ARPA fund, we're, yeah, we're closed done. out of the ARPA fund. Yeah. Right, the money's come out of the ARPA, been accounting for it or the government. Right. It's if the reimbursement is separate from that. We don't want to put that back into their stipulations. So, and then last meeting we did talk about, um, and you weren't here, so we did talk about how the fee with the FEMA grant, the Juera Road grant, which we got reimbursed for and has been accounted for, and our, it's in our it's in our um, account now. That money, we there was we did draw it down from the capital reserve CD in the beginning as like for startup costs, and that money is going back to that CD that was voted on in the last meeting. So I think it's 170 something after interest from the, um, so we paid, we paid off the, uh, the grant anticipation loan and the balance there is going back to the CD. That's helpful, it's good to, yeah. good to see this. You should save a copy of this or you know okay. Brian. Just... Okay. So if you want, I can talk to you a little bit about the list of reappraisal fund, or do you have any other questions about ARPA at this point? So bottom line there is we have $102,631, but of that $67,000 was is not used yet for ARPA. So that's where we are with that one. Bottom line with Lister is we're, the, I mean, the reappraisal fund, that is, we have a CD, a reappraisal CD. Um, the total reappraisal CD right now 
is at $136,512. And we have completed all the payments to NEMREC for the reappraisal. So over the, to over the 24 months that they were doing this, it came to $106,512. And that was part of, that was their contract with us. Uh, plus other expenses uh, came to 5,400. So, and during that time, the state of Vermont actually um, provides the town of Fairfield every year with um, reappraising and equalization money in a few thousand dollars a year. So after all of that, when we're looking at the Lister reappraisal fund, um, in order to balance that fund, we would want to, I suggest that you um, move money out of the CD to replenish the money that we, the balance <coughs> that we have in that fund to bring it back down to a zero for now and then um, along with the, and then the balance of the CD after that would be $60,459. <clears throat> so you're saying there's 136,000 in that fund now? So the total CD balance, yeah, the CD is $136,512. And then over over this these last few years we've paid the for the reappraisal using the you know the general operating account is like a due to from like we 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 owe if we owed money to this project, it would show up in the due to from. We would be, that's a little complicated, but in terms of bookkeeping, we've been accounting the whole project to just this fund. Um, but we only have one general operating fund. So when we're talking about real money in the bank, we've used the general operating fund to cover the whole, all of the costs associated with this. And You're talking about balancing the, the, the general fund, saying we spent seventy six thousand on reappraisal out of this fund. We're going to replace that in the fund. Right. So when and I actually brought this as well. This is the. Um, oh, there's the head. It's actually not it. Um, I found the thing I was hoping to have you for. Um, She's got too many tabs. I have too many tabs. So, so what do they get a year out of that transfer? It's fair amount. It's five or seven thousand a year. Oh, they were getting state sends every year when it yeah, for things current. It's five or seven thousand dollars. And it goes into the fund. It hasn't, I looked back, it hasn't actually been transferred to the CD. I don't know why that. So this is this That's is what some, supposed to be done with it. Right. And and I again like you know, coming in, um, I was doing what was always done and anytime that money moves from a CD to a bank account, our general operating, or any of the actual bank accounts, there needs to be a motion from the board. I can't do that. Our treasurer can't do that. That's why we, we approve the AP every week, that money So is. we need to make a motion again that that money goes back to the CD as it comes in from the state each year? So it stays I, would, I haven't seen a motion that said that, so it would be helpful. I'd make the motion, the money we receive on these tax parcels, maps, or all the money we get from the state to be put back into the CD for reappraisal. Okay. Is that what language that's, do you need to make That's true. It clear? That's, that's exactly it. Okay. So if yeah. someone seconds that. What money from the state is that? So money from the state that, that comes to us. Well, just is, a minute. Before we do it, let's we got to, we got a motion and a yeah, second. Let's get that through first. So well, let's make sure the motion has the right language. I just want that's to make sure. That's what I want to make sure. So okay. the motion is that the money that we receive for reappraisal and equalization every year that's, from the state of Vermont. I just want to make sure that that, that money through they pick up should work. be. Deposited into the CD. Reappraisal and what? It's the reappraisal and equalization money from the state of Vermont should be transferred to the reappraisal CD of the town of Fairfield. Mm -hmm. That's why we have enough in there for the next time. Because yeah. there's a lot of towns that don't do it. They do just that, put it in their general funds. Then when they come out for reappraisals, well, we got to borrow, we got to get this approved. Right. You should have, if you do it right, you should have enough money in there pretty much each time to be able to yeah, do it. No startup cost that you have to swallow or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's in the record, so it won't happen again. <coughs> it's going to put back in where it's That's supposed right. to go. This is the way it's going to be. So, as a point so, of discussion, we went through 24 months of reappraisal. 
So this is a separate discussion. So this part, yes, we right, need right, to right. Yeah. I'll, I'll tie yeah. it. So this money goes into the CD mm -hmm. to build up our reappraisal fund. Yeah, every year. We just went through a reappraisal. Mm -hmm. We spent 106000 on it. Plus 5000 Yep, we're numbers. We're going to put seventy six back in to balance out what we took out of the general fund, basically. Right. And we're still going to have an excess of $60,000 in our reappraisal fund. In the CD. Moving forward. Right. Yeah. And then any money that we get from the state of Vermont moving forward for from the reappraisal and equalization. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Just that's that's what's building it, and that's why we have money left over in that right. fund. That's yeah. right. And you right. want to keep that over 100 simply so that you, if you're forced to reappraise it, you've got the money yep. there. And that CD matures the first week of November. So I wanted to make sure that we had yep, this so motion in place today. So. You made a motion? I made I'll a second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so then we need a second motion that authorizes the town administrator to transfer $76,052.95 from the, the um, reappraisal CD 76? to. How much? 76 what? Seventy-six thousand fifty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. Thank you. From Thanks, the reappraisal CD to the general fund. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. So that's our funds right now. <laughs> um, and I am, I do have too many tabs, so give me a second here. I'll do that. that Six hundred ever minute. Keep, keep going with yours. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so yeah, I I actually do have. I'm sorry. If you want the um, the structures grant piece, I I do have that. It shows how the money. Yeah, I'll just put this here. We go, we're going backwards here. Um, so. This grant fund, 70, I think it's 75, 79, this fund is our, is one of the NEMRIC funds that we use to pay for grants, to use, to, to kind of keep track of grants. So this fund has, has in the past been used for hazard mitigation and structures grants. So right now what we have in here is the expenses related to the structures, the structure on North Road. Altogether this year, um, that, that project, not including the, if the money that we took out of the general operating budget. So the general operating budget, construction lines, and all of that 10, those 10 lines, that's separate. But when it comes to contracted services and materials for this project, it came to the $457,897. So that up at the top, that $283,203 is the ARPA funds that I was just talking about that we transferred into this in order to balance out this fund. At the bottom line, we have 175,000 in the negative still because we're waiting for money from the state <clears throat> for that $170,000 structure. This is where that's going to end up right. to balance out the negative. So this will be at a zero at the end of the year. We just, I'm just waiting for um, Tyler Billingsley to cash his check, and then that will, that's ready to go to the state, and we should be able to get that by the end of the year. So that's the goal. <laughs> check is a good three days. So good I, I've been, <laughs> I've tried not to count him, but I have. Emailed. No, that's the way you get things done. That check. I, 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 I called him. I emailed him. Yeah, had him had the conversation.